As soon as Ananda stepped onto the Dharma seat, everyone had three suspicions. One, the suspicion that Shakyamuni Buddha came to life again. Two, the suspicion that a Buddha from another direction came. Three, the suspicion that Ananda certified to the fruit of a, a, a Buddhahood. The Great Assembly developed these three suspicions until Ananda said the four words, Thus I have heard. Then these three doubts disappeared. The purpose of using Thus I have heard for Sutra compila compilations is 1. To eliminate everyone's skepticism. 2. To observe the Buddha's last words. 3. To end arguments. Since Ananda was quite young when the sutras were being compiled, some of the senior elders, such as Elder Kasyapa, Anyata Kaundinya, Saputi, and others might say, What kind of experience and knowledge could a young person like yourself have to compile the sutras? How will you compile the sutras? If Ananda said he will write out the sutras, People would argue, what you say is completely wrong. The Buddha did not say this. But once Ananda said, first I have heard, no one thought. Why? Ananda heard this from the Buddha. Ananda did not make this up himself. This is to end arguments. For to differentiate from the non-Buddhists, the thinking in non-Buddhist texts at that time in India is as follows. All dhammas are not apart from existence and void. Either everything is existent or non-existent. Existence and non-existence embody all dhammas. The non-Buddhist texts begin with the two words A and Ga. A is non-existence and what Ga is existence. To differentiate from non-Buddhists, the Buddha instructed on using the four words Thus I have heard at the beginning of the sutras, which means Thus is the drama that I, Ananda, personally heard from the Buddha. Thus makes the condition of faith happen. I have heard makes the condition of hearing happen. Why not say one heard with the ears but say I? have heard, it is because I represents all six senses in the body. At one time, why is not a specific year, specific month, and specific day named? Why is the location where the Buddha spoke Dharma named? It is because different calendars are used around the world. January in some country is February in another country or January in some country is March or April in another country. These days are uncertain. So the Buddhist sutras just say there was such a time. If there were a fixed time, archaeologists might use a lot of brain juices to do research. The Buddha did not want to waste archaeologists' brain juices and effort so the Buddhist sutras used at one time. This makes the condition of time happen. The Buddha makes the condition of the host happen. The Buddha enlightened himself, enlightens others, and perfected enlightening conduct. He is the conduct because he perfected the three style, three types of enlightenments, and is replete with the myriad virtues. This Buddha is uh, the teaching host of the Saha world. Shakyamuni Buddha. After this, Shakyamuni Buddha became a Buddha million and millions, even infinite ends ago. However, he saw that the time has come for living beings in the Saha world of southern Jambuvipa and came and manifested as a Buddhist, uh, as a Buddha, so that all beings will become Buddhas escape the cycle of birth and death. Dramas spoken by the Buddha are unfailingly true. We must all accept these principles profoundly. 
if this was to go in one ear and out the other, nothing will be gained by it. We must practice truly and honestly. Reject even as much deceit as it has breath. Was in the Chajashimsha heaven. This makes the condition a place that happen. Speaking drama for his mother, Shakyamuni Buddha went up into the Chajashimsha heaven to save his mother. Seven days after the Buddha was born, the Buddha's mother, Lady Maya, passed away and became reborn in the Chajashimsha heaven. Maya is Sanskrit. It means great magic or illusions. The Buddha's mother was the mother of a thousand Buddhas. She came to the, be very Buddha's mother. As strange as it sounds, this is what happened. She came to be the Buddha's mother and after the Buddha realizes Buddhahood, he speaks Dharma for her. This is similar to a Dharma. Actually, if you understand this world, everything would seem like a play. This is the truth in life. Once you understand one true principle, you will understand other true principles. Most people do not know how to really watch life's drama unfold. They only watch the content that includes sadness and joy, separation and union, joy and happiness, sadness and fear, love and hate and desire. People who see all this realize that life is but illusion and transformation. All conditioned dramas are but dreams, illusions, bubbles and shadows. They are like dew drops and lightning. Contemplate them first. When the Buddha touched living beings, he was in the samadhi of playfulness. He did not thread this as a big deal. Unlike most of us who are attached to this and that, left and right, up and down, not everything is perfectly integrated and unobstructed. All states are but illusory and unreal. We are attached if this is not how we perceive states. The role of the Buddha's mother. Lady Maya is to be a thousand Buddha's mother. Uh, after every Buddha realizes Buddhahood, he will go to the Chayashimsha heaven to speak the Dharma for his mother. Every day, every Buddha is this way, but a will turning sage king or Shakra has to request the Dharma. Who requested that Shakyamuni Buddha go and speak the Dharma in the Chayashimsha heaven? His father, a will king. He told the Buddha, you should go to the Chayashimsha heaven to speak the Dharma for your mother, save her. The will king requested Dharma from Shakyamuni Buddha. Some sutras say Shakra did. Shakra is the lord of the Chayashimsha heaven, whose former incarnation was that poor woman who re uh, renovated a temple. Having renovated a temple, she became a heavenly lord. Some sutra texts say Chakra knew that the Buddha's mother was in the heavens and requested the Buddha to speak the drama of the Chayashimsha heaven. Regardless of which person, the general idea is that someone has to request the Buddha to speak the drama. What Dhamma did? Shakyamuni Buddha speak for his mother. Earth Stop Bodhisattva's Fundamental Vows Sutra. This is a drama on fidelity. Everyone should be valuable to their parents. Why? It is because our parents are our roots. Being filial to our, your parents, your doubts, your Rules, you douse your roots with fertilizer. If you are not filial to your parents, you will definitely have no future. Being filial to your parents means tending to your roots well and ensuring a bright future. As the saying goes, stable roots lead to lush branches. Deep roots lead to luxuriant leaves. 
For his mother, Shakyamuni explained this type of drama which follows. Sutra, at that time, uncountably, many Buddhas and great Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas, from infinite worlds in the ten directions assembled. Com commentary, at that time, uncountably, many Buddhas and great Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas, from infinite worlds in the ten directions assembled. Worlds throughout the ten directions are the dependent retribution, while all the ineffable, the ineffable Buddhas and great Bodhisattvas are retribution proper. People are retribution proper, while worlds are dependent retribution. These are the two types of retributions. There are five ways to explain at that time. First, this refers to the times when the Dharma is about to be spoken, the time that the Dharma is being spoken, and the time when the Dharma has already been spoken. Here, it would be when the Buddha wanted to speak the Dharma. Then, when the Buddha was explaining his Dharma, this Dharma on fealty, and then when the Buddha finished explaining this Dharma on being fealty to one's parents, this is the first explanation. The second explanation for it refutes the non-Buddhist non -Buddhist speak Dharmas that do not specify past, present, or future. They are vague. This explanation contradicts the non-Buddhists by explaining the Dharma in the, of the past, present, and future. This is the second meaning of meaning to at that time. The third meaning for at that time is a time for planting. Once the seeds are planted, there will be a time for ripening and harvesting. What happens after ripening? There is a time for liberation which also occurs at that time. For example, someone who was never planted good roots, such as the elder who wants to leave the home life. The great Arahats took a look at him through so and saw that he did not do any good deeds in the last 30,000 great ends. They refused to let him leave the home life. Do not consider having a home easy. It is all because of body planted in life's past. People who are monastic now got to be monastics now got to be monastics because they planted good rules, rules of goodness in the last eighty thousand great ends. Do not think one can usually become a monk or a nun, telling those who have never planted rules of goodness to Land some, those who have never recited the Buddha's name to recite, and those who have never recited mantras to recite, is about planting roots of goodness. Once the seeds are in the soil, they will grow and mature. It is like farming, for instance, where seeds are planted in the soil are harvested in the fall. If they ripen but are not harvested, it would not do any good. Liberation means when the seeds are collected. This also means telling those who have not completed gurus to do so, those who have already planted gurus to become monks. They are rip when they are monks. Monks must become Buddhas, which requires certifying to the fruit and becoming liberated. So listen to sutra lectures. It's not about listening to the sutra a um, couple of times and refusing to listen to anymore. The more you listen, the more you have this type of knowledge. If you do not listen, you will not increase your knowledge of Buddhist studies. The fourth is an explanation that there is a real teacher speaking the Dharma. Once a real teacher is in place, then the orthodox teaching is spoken. After that, there is proper learning.
if you do not study proper, even proper teachings are not helpful to you. You may want to study properly and the orthodox teachings are there. But you do not have a teacher who truly understands, then you cannot learn. So the first explanation on at that term refers to the presence of a real teacher the orthodox teachings and proper learning. The fifth explanation of at that time is the time when the Buddha was willing to speak the drama and living beings were willing to listen to the drama. Listening to the drama and speaking the drama occur simultaneously. Neither one is higher or lower as long as the audience and the teachings click. Some beings come and listen to the sutra to the Buddha speak this dharma. The above wanted to speak and living beings wanted to listen. They are equal. Above are five different explanations of at that time. For this sutra, the first is the fulfilled condition of faith. Thus, I have heard is the fulfilled condition of hearing the at one time is the fulfilled condition of time. The Buddha is the fulfilled condition of the host. The, the Chayashim Shaheven is the fulfilled condition of a place and the speaking drama for his mother is the fulfilled condition of the assembly. Although the Buddha was speaking the drama for his mother, being is the being in in the heavens and human beings also followed him. Among those who always accompanied the Buddha, there were already 1,250 disciples of the Buddha alone. The Lord of the Chayashim Shaheven Indra was the drama protector, the male host, and the one who requested the drama. Also, the Buddha was speaking drama for his mother. He was really speaking drama for the Great Assembly. Therefore, this line also fulfills, fulfills the condition of the Assembly, the above, and the six conditions. At that time, many, many Buddhas and all the great Bodhisattvas with lofty reserves throughout the ineffably ineffable worlds in space and the Dharma realm of the ten directions gathered. See, all the Buddhas and the great Bodhisattvas were gathered when the first Dharma Sutra was lectured, so people should gather too. All the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas throughout the ten directions also gathered as we now lecture on the Earth Dharma Sutra. Open your Buddha eyes and look on the infinite and uncountable number of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas throughout the ten directions now gathered to support this Dharma assembly. Sutra to praise how Shakyamuni Buddha is able to manifest powerful, great wisdom and spiritual penetrations in the evil world of the five turbidities. Commentary All the Bodhisattvas Mahasattvas throughout the ten directions went to the Chayashim Sha Black Palace to praise how Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni is Sanskrit. Shakya is a surname while Muni is the first name. The name Shakyamuni is his individual name. Buddha is a name common to all Buddhas. Each Buddha has his unique name, in this case Shakyamuni. Shakya means capable of being human, while Muni means still and quiescent. What does it mean by capable of being human? It means that you can save all beings universally with Humanist and virtual, she and still and quiet, uh, quiescent, means unmoving, silent and sent free. 
Confucianism speaks of there is nothing more in quietude, no sounds, no orders. This is an indication of having reached the original substance. Still and unmoving is samadhi, why capable of being human is wisdom. How come the Buddha can rescue living beings universally ill with humanness and kindness? It is because he has wisdom. Capable of being human is to accord with conditions still and present is unchanging. The Buddha never changes but always accords with conditions, accord with conditions but never changes. In this still and unmoving samadhi, the he immediately connects to responses. All beings with all their variety of thoughts, regardless of how many, the thoughts come one knows and sees them all. The Buddha sees them all because he is capable of being human. He knows them all because he is still and present. Do not think that no one knows what we do. The Buddha knows everything, so if we are but 10% sincere in our cultivation, we will receive a 10% response. If we are 100% sincere, you will receive a 100% response. If you are millions upon millions times sincere, then even though Shakyamuni Buddha is, re is there on that present and unmoving fundamental, fundamental Intel enlightenment. He will connect with you immediately, providing you with a helpful response so that he will be successful in your practice soon. That is what is meant what is mean by Shakyamuni Buddha. The Buddha enlightens himself enlightens others and has perfected conduct that enlighten. As it is said, one becomes a Buddha when he has perfected the three enlightenments, perfected three types of enlightenments, perfected are beginning enlightenment, fundamental enlightenment, and ultimate enlightenment. Buddha is half of the little uh, transliterated trans Sanskrit word Buddha Ya. What kind of individual was the Buddha? The Buddha is a greatly enlightened one. If every one of us cultivate according to the uh, Buddha Dharma, he, we will reach this kind of enlightenment, this kind of results. So Shakyamuni Buddha long ago said, all living beings can become, can become Buddhas. Why? It is because they all have the Buddha nature. So, as long as you are willing to work hard on your cultivation, you can become a Buddha. In the evil world of the five turbidities, the five turbidities are one, compact turbidity. This is an impure term and age. 2. View turbidity, the views of impure. 3. Afflictions turbidity, impure because of people's affliction. 4. Living beings turbidity, living beings are impure. 5. Life turbidity, our lives are turbid and impure. The combat turbidity means that we live in very Filthy times. The Sura Gama Mansutra says that dirt placed in a bowl of clear water loses its original function. What was the function of the dirt? It acts as a blockade. Dirt holds up people as they walk on it. Without dirt, we would fall into the sea. Since there is water under dirt, People hold the dirt because below water is the fire. Sometimes volcanoes erupt a transformative function. Will the fire not be squashed by water? No, there is 
so much fried that water cannot put it out. If you want to understand this kind of principle, you must study the Buddha drama store. The Suragama store says, Earth loses, loses its ability to block and water stops being clean. That is turbidity. How this evil world of five turbidities is like water and earth mixed together. It is unclean. How the compatibility, for example, has no time or is no clear as to what time it is. View turbidity. How can our views be differentiated clearly? They cannot. Can you? Divide up everyone's views, categorizing some as my views and some as your views. Where do you draw the boundary between your views and my views? There are no boundaries or they are unclear, so things seem to blur together. This is a view stability. Affliction stability means everyone is afflicted. Your afflictions and my afflictions mix together and become unclear. Some say, I know these afflictions are mine and those afflictions are yours. If so, how come you can bring out my afflictions if those were mine? You should not be able to bring them, thus, to bring them out if your afflictions were yours. I should not be able to bring out your afflictions. Thus, we can tell that afflictions have two battery to and are to be living beings stability. Living beings are human beings in this lifetime, but in become but may become dogs in the next life and cats in the life after that. Maybe even rats in the life after that. Then as insects that crawl all over the place, how can you draw such concrete distinctions? Living beings cooperate to start a large firm. Our distinctions are unclear. You are either selling others or being sold by others in this large firm. We are all related. Is this not still not turbid? This is living beings. Turbidity. The five turbidities are extremely complicated, but Shakyamuni Buddha is able to manifest a powerful great wisdom and spiritual penetrations in this area, war in this evil world that is one of the worst worlds. He can manifest the inconceivably wondrous wisdom, the sub subtle wonderful and inconceivable power of wonderful great wisdom, wonderful spiritual powers. Inconceivable means that it is unimaginable and unthinkable, subtly and wonderfully incredible. This is the great power of great wisdom, great spiritual powers.